I am Adriana. I am calling from Spain. I wear, I measure my food. I committed to my sponsor. I am not eating between meals, uh, no matter what. My abstinence is the most important thing on my life today without exception. And my date of abstinence is 18th of March, 2020, which is three months today. Thank you very much. Uh, I feel so nervous, you know, I'm, I'm going to start saying that I didn't want to qualify today. I was so scared, I was so scared. And well, this is because uh, I had fear. And then I was talking to, to my sponsor and, and she said, no, you're going to qualify. <laughs> and I said, okay, because I, 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 I can't listen myself, I am addict. Well, I would like to start from where I am from, uh, my background, my parents were drug addicts, uh, both of them, and they were hippies too. They were living and driving around the world with us. And uh, when my, well, when I was four, my mom abandoned me and my brother uh, and because she, she couldn't stay with us because she was um, stealing from my family, my mom's side. She was very, very sick and so she went and my grandmother, which is the mother of my father, took us, took us before, um, you know, someone else, like a family or something like that, something like that took us because um, it was the possibility because we didn't have a mom available and also my father wasn't there. Well, my father was there with us physically sometimes but well he wasn't there emotionally i'm going to show you a picture of me and my little brother i don't know if you can see it. when i was a child this is me the blue one i would i cut my the hair myself <laughs> well i like to do experiments is you can you see me well this is my little brother but i was looking as a little boy well the thing is, um, yeah, I was, this is another one with a, a beautiful dress, the, the white one that was me with my short hair. Um, when I was a child, uh, I had these thoughts on my mind why my mom was abandoning me. I always thought that my, da my, my dad, is, it, was, is, it was going to die. I was thinking that as a child that my dad is going to die because he was having a marks of being, you know, they were having heroin, both of them. So yeah, I was thinking as a child, oh, my dad is going to die one day. He was in depression so many times. So when I was a child, I was very sad. And well, uh, the food was my comfort. The food was my friend. <laughs> The food, well, I was checking my, my picture and I have all of my pictures on the, on the birthday parties with, you know, the things we don't eat. And when I am in the picture with food, I was happy. When I wasn't with food, I was sad because um, I couldn't be any better. I didn't have my own bathroom when I was a child. Uh, my grandparents, well, my, my grandmother was 65 when I was with her and she were having an uh, abusive relationship with my grandfather. And I still remember how my grandmother was on the knees cleaning the, the feet of my grandfather in the floor. You know, I, I still remember that as a child. And well, um, I had these memories and uh, I always been like happy with food and my grandmother were happy because I was eating and it was like a funny thing because I was eating. I was eating from my brother. I was eating from my cousin because he didn't eat that much. I was eating and eating and that's it. And I was, and I was okay. I didn't think I had a problem uh, before. So, um, yeah, I am remember that as a very, very painful thing. And um, well, when I was 12, no, sorry, when I was eight, 
well, before, sorry, before that, my grandmother was saying to us that my mom uh, were a prostitute, that she abandoned us because she were prostitute. And when I was eight, my, my mom and her family came to see us, to know us. And I, I thought, oh, I don't want to see this prostitute because, you know, I didn't want to see her. And, but, you know, as a child, I had to do it. So I was seeing her as, hmm, she's my mom. Okay, who cares? I have the food. And um, every summer I was going to visit my mom since I was eight to the, from the coast of Spain to the so, so, south. I was traveling as a child in the summer to see someone was abandoned me, which, which was very uncomfortable. And I remember when I was 10 that my uncle said to me, you have to tell your mom, mom, if you don't tell mom to her, you, you're not going to have a, a swimming pool to enjoy it. So I said, mom. And then, well, as you know, I was using food as a comfort for that. And I remember when my, my family were doing punishment to me because I didn't care anything, they were punishing me with food. Like, you're not going to eat that, you're not going to eat this, you're not going to eat that one. And I was so sad because they knew it that I wanted to eat, especially the things that we don't eat. So when I was 12, I went to live with my auntie and uh, my, my brother and me, we didn't have a, a bathroom to, for us. So we were uh, sleeping in a place where people put the stuff they don't want. And that was my feeling all my life. I was feeling like there is something I don't want. I feel myself. I was always thinking I am wrong. I was always thinking I am not right to stay here. I was thinking why I am here. My mom doesn't want me. My grandparents doesn't want me. I am with my auntie now. And then when I was 14, I was with my mom. And when I was 14, I went to my mom. She had a um, couple of kids from another relationship and this man left the house as well. So everything was my fault. Um, so yeah. Um, I had this um, kind of thinking of shame of myself uh, all my life. Um, but you know, uh, I didn't think about dieting or uh, I didn't think about, well, I was thinking always I was ugly, I was fat, and I wasn't fat at all. I'm going to show you a picture when I was 20. As you can see, I was something like that all my life. And I thought I was big, so big. And I can see it now that I wasn't, but I was feeling fat. I was feeling a monster uh, all my life. So um, I remember uh, when I was um, 20, I started with my first relationship and I started to think about, oh, I should lose weight. Yeah, when I was 20. And then I started to going out and drink a lot of alcohol. And uh, I was going out, uh, being around with boys, uh, drinking and drinking and drinking and then starving. I was not eating because I didn't want to put weight on me. It was everything on my mind. And I started when I was 22, a uh, relationship, and uh, he said to me that I should look better if I lose weight. So by then, I start to reduce my food on my own, and I was losing like 20 kilos or something. And it was funny because when I lose that weight, he said, oh, I really like it when you were bigger. And I was like, what are you saying to me? That's that's wrong. And I was losing weight because someone said to me that I was fat and I believe it. And while I was stealing food, when I was uh, at work, I was uh, hiding. Yeah, I was hiding for it. I was buying stuff and putting it on my wardrobe. 
I remember I didn't want to share my food with anyone. Uh, the food was my, was my treasure. Something is just for me and no one is going to, to take it. And um, I was um, very depressed. Yeah, I had this feeling. Ten of, minutes, Adrian. Oh, thank you. Oh, I'm already gone. I thought I'm not going to talk. <laughs> okay, so when I was... <laughs> 25, I started OA the first time on CODA, but I didn't understand anything. I was there, like, warming the seat because I, I didn't I walk the steps. And for me, it was a chat between the friends. You know, they, we were four women, so five, and I didn't understand anything. And I was thinking, well, if I eat three times, if I eat three times a day and I... Uh, and that's it, I'm going to be fine. And I was putting things we don't eat between my three meals, so it, it didn't work. Um, I didn't know anything about that I had a problem with food. So then I went to UK, I met the father of my daughter, and I get big, that time I was very big. I was, uh, I put 30 kilos, which is 60 pounds on me, and then, I started OA again because I was thinking, oh my God, Adriana, you are so fat. You're now really, really fat. Well, you always, but you now need, really need help. So I, I lose 20 kilos again in OA, but uh, when I divorced from him, I just find out I had another problem with relationships and I start another program. Uh, I am doing a pro, I started on 2000 and, 17 yeah i started sa as well 2016 sorry and well i find out i have a problem with the relationship so i left away because i have to concentrate on on that one but um i decided to come uh when i was in england i decided to come back from spain because um the father of my daughter and my daughter told me that uh, he abused to her. Um, so I decided to come to Spain because, uh, well, he was abusing for, uh, of me as well. Like, um, but uh, I thought, oh no, my daughter is more important than me, so I have to protect her. So I'm going back to Spain and I'm going to to do the best for her. And when I came in here and being abstinent from another program and with this weight that I get, that as you all know, when I started, I thought I was walking up every day thinking I was a shit, thinking, oh, Adriana, you are bigger every time. I put 30 kilos again when I came back from England. And yeah, it was the solution. The food was the solution. And I was... Talking with people, oh, oh no, I speak, people didn't recognize me because I was putting a lot of weight. And I said, no, this is because I had a lot of problems. And I was eating that, well, the good thing I wasn't drinking and that's it, you know, and I was like kind of doing a funny thing about that. And I just discover here, I just find out in Gracie that I was using food as alcohol. And that's the reason why I am being abstinent for three months, because I don't want to be a drunk anymore with food. I want to be alive. I want to love myself. I want to know and know really what I am and feel that I am worth it. Like, I like, I am a human. So, this is what, I'm sorry, but this is what the program is showing me that I am a person. I am really a person. And I, ha I know I have a lot of defects of character. I know because I am working the program. I know because I am asking them. I have a lot of fear. But the food is not the solution for me anymore. The food... It's not going to do anything for me. Anything. I'm going to One have, minute. Thank you. I'm going to have the problem of the food. I'm going to have the problem of the custody of my daughter. I'm going to have everything plus the food. So 
I feel very grateful to be here and to just find out that I am, I deserve a good life, that I am, I have God with me, I have all of you, I have this community, and I am not perfect, but I am a human. So oh, thank you very much to let me share, and thank you very much to be here with me. I am very, very grateful. Thank you.